75% of the state's prison population came from seven neighborhoods in New York City. We saw this as a real crisis, so we created a school uh, just for young men and primarily for young men of color so that we could bring a level of hope uh, back into those communities to say it doesn't have to be this way. A young man believes that one day he might be a senator or president of the United States. You don't have to tell him not to join a gang. He won't do it because he sees the possibilities for himself. My dreams are limitless, and I got that from you. They're making it seem like anything is possible. Do not let where you come from, where you were born at, your bank account size dictate your life. Senator Clinton got it from day one. She recognized how important it was to try a level of innovation in the public schools. Because were it not for Senator Clinton, the Eagle Academy would never have gotten off the ground. With her, you get results. People talk about doing stuff, and you never see the results. Especially people like us, the neighborhoods people seem to forget about. The politicians can come through the neighborhood and they can shake our hands, but when it comes down to it, the stuff that they promise us, they never come through with. Hillary was one of the few that came through the neighborhood, came into our schools, and actually came through with what she promised to do. The kind of leader who I think the country really needs as somebody who believes in people, cares about people, will fight for people. For me, and what I've known about Hillary Clinton, she's as good as it gets. Please welcome David Banks, founding principal of Eagle Academy and students. My name is David Banks. I'm the president and CEO of the Eagle Academy in New York. In 2004, the high school graduation rate was only around 30 percent, and 75 percent of New York State's entire prison population came from just seven neighborhoods in New York City. If you were one of the young men growing up in these areas, the odds were stacked against you. So together with the organization 100 Black Men, we answered the call to do something about this crisis. Since 2004, the Eagle Academies have educated nearly 4,000 young men. 98% of our graduates are accepted to college. We're making a big difference now, but we could not have done it alone. You see, there was one leader who was with us from the very beginning, and she was our earliest champion. One leader who understood that addressing the crisis facing young men of color in our country required innovative measures. One leader who pushed to open the first Eagle Academy in the Bronx. And she made a promise to return four years later to offer the keynote address to our first graduating class. And that's a promise that she kept. You see, I'm with Hillary Clinton because she has been with us. Today, we have young men who are confident, future leaders who are resilient. Just look at them, America. They are brilliant and full of promise. And we start every day with the poem Invictus. It's the same poem that strengthened the resolve of the imprisoned Nelson Mandela when he recited it each day. So young men of the Eagle Academy, Invictus straight. Out of the night that covers me, black is the pit from pole to pole. I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. And the felt clutch of circumstance, I have not wished no cry aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbound. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, blooms with the heart of shade. And yet the menace of the years, find shall find me unafraid. And that's not how I shake the gate, how I charge the punishment for scroll. I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Thank you. Thank you.